In this problem, there's a mass being suspended by a network of cables, and we want to use engineering equation solver to solve a couple of problems. The first problem is assumes that the container has a mass of 100 kilograms. We want to figure out the tension in all four of these cables. The second question asks us to make a graph of the tension in all of these cables as a function of the mass of the container. And it says that a cable will snap if its tension exceeds 10,000 newtons. And we want to figure out how much mass can this rigging uh, hold before one of the wires snaps. And we want to figure out which cable will snap first. To start this problem, let's make a free body diagram around point E. And we've got two forces, a force acting between E and D, and a force acting between E and B, cable ED and cable EB, and there's a downward weight uh, holding up the mass. And here are those, these three forces in vector form. The next thing we want to do is sum the forces. The x component of the forces are in the horizontal direction, and about point E, it's FDE, this is a scalar, times the cosine of theta, minus FBE times this ratio of 3 over 5. And the sum of these two forces has to equal 0 because that point E is not accelerating. I'll do the same thing for the y component. In, in this case, I've got uh, three of the forces have y components, and I've got negative w acting downwards. Now I've drawn a free body diagram for point B, and I've drawn out the x and the y components of those forces, and, and the sum of those both have to equal 0. And for problem 1, what I'm left with is four equations and four unknowns. And you could work through a lot of algebra to solve this, or we could use engineering equation solver, and it'll solve it for us. So this is Engineering Equation Solver, and let's type out a few variables that we know. We know g, for example, is 9.81 meters per second squared. And we know the weight of the container is m times g. And the mass for this first problem is 100 kilograms. Note that it doesn't matter the order in which I type in parameters of the equations. The next thing I've done is drawn out the uh, force balances for point E, both of those equations. And if I want to, I can comment, make a comment, and just say this is the force balance on point E. And these curly braces, E's will ignore those. And here are the equations, the uh, force balance on point B. So I've got four equations, four unknowns. The next thing to do, let's check the variable the uh, units on our variable. So I click this variable information button and I've specified, I've typed in uh, each four, all four of these forces we expect to have units of newtons. G, of course, meters per second squared. M, the mass is in kilograms and the weight is a force also in newtons. So let's push this calculator button up here to solve it. And what I come up with, it iterates, click continue, and here's the answer. It gives you parameter values, 100 kilograms, the weight of this object, uh, 981 newtons, and this gives the tension in all four of these cables. So here I've uh, written out all four of these forces. So 1,699 newtons for uh, cable AB, that's the largest force. It actually is a, a great deal bigger than the weight. The weight was we could say W is equal to 981 newtons. The tension in AB is actually greater than the weight, and the tension in BE is actually less than the weight, as is the tension in ED. So let's go on to the second part of the problem. It says a cable will snap if its tension exceeds 10,000 newtons, so how big uh, can this container be? So let's start by making a graph of the tension in all four of these cables as a function of the mass of the container. Let's go back to our ease code, and I'm going to delete the 100 kilograms for the mass. And what we're left with are four equations and five unknowns, because we no longer know the weight. So let's make a table. Click this table button, and a new, it says a new parametric table. Let's, uh, in our table, we want all four of the forces, and we want the mass. Click OK with all four of these forces and the mass included, and here's my table and click the little down button, down arrow button for the mass. And we want to populate this right column and let's make let's make 101 different runs and let's start the mass at 0 kilograms and let's try uh, 1000 kilograms for the upper end. I'll click OK and we're going to add 91 rows to this table and now what it's done is it's included for each mass 0, 10, 20, 30, all the way up to a thousand kilograms. And when I hit play, it will run this program a thousand different times and it'll calculate values for each of the four forces. So I click, click play. Here's all the forces. If I scroll down, I've got for a mass of a thousand kilograms, here are all uh, four of my forces. Let's make a graph of these data. Click the graph button up here. And we're going to give it 
uh, on the x-axis we want the mass on the y-axis we want all four of our tensions let's set the vertical the minimum of the y-axis to zero newtons and we'll click let's make a uh, large line and let's add a legend and then click OK and let's give the y-axis a name we'll call it tension and we expect the tension to be in newtons and we click OK so uh, now we're showing tension is a function of the mass so the tension gets larger as we put more and more mass into the container and the problem says one of the cables will snap if the tension exceeds 10,000 newtons. So let's double click here and we'll put the maximum value of 10,000 newtons and an interval of 1,000 newtons. So I've plotted it from 1,000 to 10,000. So here's FDE, here's FBE, F in cable BC, and finally F in cable AB. And what we find is that cable AB will snap the first at a mass of something just less than 600 newtons. So let's find out what this value actually is. And we'll go back to the code. And now let's specify FAB is equal to 10,000 newtons. And this will solve now. It'll actually calculate the weight and the mass for us that occurs when the tension at FAB exceeds its breaking point. So I'll click the calculator button to run it. Click Continue. And here it is. A mass of about 589 kilograms is the maximum load that it could support. So I've written these values on the diagram when uh, the tension in AB is 10,000 newtons, the mass is 589 kilograms, and the tension in BC is a little over 8,000 newtons, a little over 5,000 newtons between B and E, and about 3,500 newtons between E and D. So the maximum tension, the system would fail here between at wire AB.